Hey guys, what's up? So this video is brought to you by Dev Mountain. I never went to school for computer science. In fact, the first time I took a computer science course was uh, for my business administration degree um, that I took just like a year and a half ago. So that was the first time I'd ever taken a, a computer science course. Um, so like some of the concepts and everything there was just like outdated. And it was just interesting because I'm like, if this is what a lot of the computer science classes are like, then you, you can you can understand why when people come out of college, like they say they, they don't really know anything. Um, but that's not just specifically to the IT field. Like there's a lot of different, uh, you know, attorneys would tell you the same thing and doctors would tell you the same thing as well. So, um, you know, the only difference between those two industries really is that one requires a degree and certifications and such uh, and the other does not. So that is why in, <clears throat> in 2018 and really for the entire existence of this channel and shit, probably for the last 25 years, uh, information technology has been like the career to get into. We've seen some of the dot com, like we saw the dot com bubble and everything. Um, we we see crazy stuff with like Bitcoin. We don't know where that's going and things like that. So obviously, tech is very fluid and, uh, and not that predictable. But the the simple fact of the matter is though that with the advent of the internet, like every business in in the industrialized world started pushing a lot of their business model over to the internet. So they're taking payments and everything through the web. You look at like e commerce platforms like Amazon that are putting a bunch of pressure on uh, on Walmart. Um, there's like technology changes and it changes the way we do business. You look at Uber putting taxi cab drivers out of business, or you look at uh, Redbox and some of the um, you know companies that are like that that put companies like Black a Blockbuster out of business. So <clears throat> we're going to continue to see technology change, and as technology changes, it creates new demand. So no matter what, wherever technology is right now, like I'm not really sure that you could find a field that um, that has the the least potential to be to to be saturated in the future. Um, we we in, in in hindsight, like a lot of times, like people are like, oh, you, you want to be an attorney, you want to be this, you want to be that. And then every once in a while, we kind of flood the market. Well, I think the thing it, that that occurrence still happens in IT, but it's usually short lived and we'll have these downturn turns in technology, but then like new sectors will pop up. The thing is, is technology is always moving forward, science, technology, and we're always advancing. And that's always going to lead to new opportunities. And we're not dealing with something that has been around for hundreds of years, like law um, or the medical profession and things like that. We're, we're dealing with something that is in its infancy still, uh, especially like computer programming languages. Like we're in the infancy of computers and programming and everything. Um, and you're, you're just going to see an explosion from here. You're going to see new languages, new features, new problems to solve from robotics to artificial intelligence. Um, it, it's going to be all kinds of crazy sectors that you can get into. And that's why that's why you want to be a programmer. And if you want to be a web developer, you should check out like a boot camp like Dev Mountain. It's really just amazing. And hopefully that motivates you guys because you can do whatever you want. And if you want to be a programmer, you can be a programmer. Maybe you just want to take programming uh, and use it to, to apply it to some sort of business uh, advantage that, that, you, that you've come up with or um, that you've noticed. So there, there's all kinds of potential there within IT.